Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today on the channel, we're gonna be talking about maximum ice retention. I don't know how long this max is gonna be, but we're gonna be testing these things called cooler cubes and figuring out how long they make your ice last. So stay tuned. All right guys, so this is the cooler cube. The ice extender makes ice last up to 50% longer. We're gonna see about that. Using any cooler to maintain proper temperature, scientifically formulated, just water and freeze, non-toxic, non-hazardous, reusable or freezable, etc. Um, this is pretty much cooler gel that comes in this um, plastic cube. Now you got, it comes with a form, um, um, powder and then all you do is mix it with water and then freeze it. So I've actually used a lot of this um, previously and um, the packets that you buy and you just put in water bottles and you freeze them. Those have worked really well, but I decided to pick one of these up because it's, uh, it seems to be a little bit bigger. Um, and this, this plastic seems to be built a little bit better. So I'm hoping that the life of this um, works out pretty well. But anyways, I've seen results on this that made my eyes last longer, but I was never actually able to compare how much longer. Um, I never did a back-to-back -back test and figure out if, if carrying this around with ice was actually any useful. So today we're gonna find out. All right guys, so today we're gonna to be using two of these um, Pelican Elite 70 quart coolers. Pelican Elite coolers, I think these are second generation, I'm not sure if people refer to it that way. Um, Roto motor coolers, actually, I think they're injection motor now. Um, but anyways, we got two 70 quart coolers, exactly the same model. Um, we went to the bulk ice place and filled them with ice earlier. Let's see if I can throw up a picture right here. Cha -ching! Actually, I don't know about that. But anyways, each one um, um, has about roughly around 80 pounds of ice. One of them has 76 pounds of ice and that's because of the cooler cubes that we're about to add. So let's take a look. This is the Pelican Elite 70 quart cooler. Um, it's a white and gray. Look at that. Look at that ice, chipped ice. Um, this is the one that's not filled to the absolute top because we're going to be dropping some cooler cubes in there and we'll see how that goes. All right. Look at this one. Same thing, filled to the top. Maybe a little bit more, um, but they're both filled. These coolers have not been pre-chilled, okay? Uh, they've been sitting in the garage. We took them out, took them to the ice station, let them out in the sun for a little bit while we filled them with ice. So they're a little bit hot. Let's see what the weather says right now, according to the watch. It's around 91 degrees right now, okay? So, this is an instant read thermometer. On the outside of this, it's reading roughly around 88.6. Um, outside of this, roughly around 85, depending on where you point it. But I'll sit in there, so maybe a little bit colder. Anyways, so, we're gonna be doing the test almost the same way that I see a lot of other people doing the tests. Um, we're gonna be placing two uh, room temperature, actually hot water now, uh, water bottles and they've been sitting outside in the sun. Um, put them on top, we're gonna be mixing it around roughly about three, opening the coolers and mixing the bottles around about three times a day to simulate quote unquote real world usage. And then we'll see how it goes. So let me drop the cooler cubes in there. All right, son. All right, we finally got it in there. Let that be a lesson to you if we're gonna use the cubes. Don't fill it up all the way before you put the cubes in there. Make sure you either put the cubes in there first and fill it up, or fill it up halfway, put the cubes in there, and then put the ice back. Um, but now it's a bit of a struggle, but they're in there. So, oh, forgot about this. So let's take some, oh, that's pretty warm, sitting in the sun. Let's take two, um, sitting in the sun, um, water bottles, put in here, and let that be, we'll come back, right, we'll open this cooler three times a day, and see what it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty warm. I can feel it even though my hands are freezing cold. All right. So, then they're right on top, cover it up. All right, each coolers are closed, filled with ice. 270 quart coolers, we're gonna check them. Try to check it about three times a day.
What's up guys? All right, it's uh, 7.30 on Saturday. It's been more than seven full days. Let's check it out. Actually, let's check this one first. Oh. This is the one without the cooler gel. Ooh, I'm gonna say we're gonna have to call this seven full days. There's a few slivers of ice left in here. Just a few. Uh, I should have got that thermometer. But it's cold, cold. Ice cold. Do I get the thermometer? Um, and we'll come back. And it's the one with the cooler gel. All the cooler gels are now jellified. There's still a huge, uh, good chunk of ice left in here. Probably go for another day or so, but that's just as cold. So, we'll check back soon. Yeah. It's been seven and a half full days. That one, the one without the cooler gel, bowed out yesterday. So we'll check the one with the cooler gel. Let's get a lid temp. Woo, seven in the morning and lid temp. Actually, it's not seven in the morning. Nine in the morning. Lid temp around 80 degrees already. Oh, we're gonna have to call this one too. I mean, there's just a sliver of ice left on this cooler gel. I mean, look at that. This one has bowed out. I mean, ice temperature, water temperature. Check the ice. 32, 36. But it has bowed out. So we can say this cooler has only lasted one extra day. Welcome back to the channel. We've reached day eight, the end of the maximum ice retention challenge or the cooler gel review challenge. Just to recap, we had two um, exact same coolers from Pelican. Pelican 70 Elite second generation coolers, the one injection molded um, in white and gray. And we filled one with just ice chips and one with ice chips and cooler gel to see how much longer the cooler gel will help the ice last or help with the ice retention. So on day seven, the one with just ice chips bowed out um, and the one with uh, the cooler gel and ice we just checked on day eight, around midday or so, and, and it looks like it's bailing out right now. So let's take a look. <laughs> Woo, that's cold. Woo, icy. It's cold. Anyways, um, so it does look like the cooler gel does help a little bit. Um, not, I wouldn't claim anywhere near 50% longer, but it does last about a day longer than uh, cooler without the cooler gel. So it does help. So if you're looking for something that helps your ice last just a little bit longer, get one of those. Um, it should help you guys out. But remember, keep in mind, um, this was done in the middle of, actually it's not summer yet, but an almost summer. Um, lid temperatures with coolers were getting up to about 140 degrees uh, during the hottest part of the day. They're sitting on a concrete and that concrete's uh, absorbing heat and just reflecting it back to the cooler. So it's pretty extreme weather for any cooler to last really about seven, eight, nine days um, in just extreme heat just out in the sun all day. Um, that's pretty well. Um, so definitely check you guys out if you got check out the Pelican cooler if you guys need something Don't worry. This video is not sponsored by Pelican or Cooler Cube or anyone um, Just giving you my honest opinion um, And maybe one day we'll try to see if we can give it a good go against the uh, Arctic or something since uh, a lot, I see a lot of people trying to figure out how the brand name coolers do against the Arctic cooler So we'll see how we could do something like that and then hopefully this video helped you guys out and We'll see you guys next time.